<laughs> it's crazy. Here we go. Uh, let's see if the transaction can be approved. Fifty-seven dollars, sixty dollars for this. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to speak to you about this um, play-to-earn game called Mecha Apes. Uh, so this is actually a project that's been pretty popular and been, it has a low barrier to entry, okay? So you could get started for very little money in the, in the hundreds of dollars. Uh, so, but it's, it looks pretty established. There's a ton of people on it uh, and it's, it's got a good model. So I'm going to explain some of the concepts involved on this game. So essentially, um, back in the days, some, some time ago, last year, they uh, launched these guys, which are actually Genesis Ugas. And uh, yes, yeah, so essentially, if you hold these, uh, if, if you bought one of these or minted one of these, you would have been able to get a Mecha Ape. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, essentially, you end up getting a Mecha Ape for free. You just pay the gas price for these baby uh, Ugas. And if you get a couple of them, I believe, uh, you could get babies from them as well so you could kind of breed them and you, you get a baby one uh, and breeding is live uh, so but essentially now they're on the floor for 0.3 eat so it it's it was possible to get them for about uh, 0.07 or something like that when it first came out so it's already a pretty big roi now the actual staking started uh, with the mecha apes so essentially these are the, this is another collection they have called Mecha Apes. So there's, there's three types of entities here. So one is these guys, the, the Ugas. And then we have the Mecha Apes, which are, uh, there's, there's two variations. There's actually Robos and Mechas. So if you go to OpenSea, you scroll down, uh, you'd see them down here at the type. So you've got the Robo Ugas and the Mecha Ape. Now, the Mecha Ape, is like the wolf of wolf game. So essentially it collects a bribe from all the uh, transactions that goes on. It also can actually um, uh, get some gifts sometimes. So if somebody's minting, you could get it airdropped to you, uh, potentially, if you have good mecha ape. The robo ugas are like the sheeps. So all they do is just collect ugas, uh, OGs, which is their token. And yeah, essentially you could, um, yeah, you could you could level up both of these as well. So like a Mecha Ape, you've got these levels here in the, in the filter here. So you've got M1, M2, and M3. So what you need to do is once you get Mecha Apes, you get two of those, and then you merge them, and that becomes either an M1 or M2 and M3. So obviously M3 is going to be better than M1 or M2. But yeah, so on the other side of the spectrum, you've got the Robo Ugas, and they could be upgraded to, they start off with level one, and then they could be upgraded to two, three, and four. So essentially when they get a higher level, what happens is this, uh, you get, I'll show you here. So Robo Ugas, if you infuse them, you get a bit more uh, in the uh, collections. So every day, normally it, it collects a thousand OGs. So if you spend uh, another hundred uh, another currency they have here called DMT. I'm going to go to that in a minute. Uh, so a hundred more uh, of those gets you a 25% increase. So you get 250 more OGs per day, uh, and probably it keeps on going like that. So you end up spending 300 uh, DMTs, which is about $600, and you end up with an executive bot which earns 2,000 OGs, and uh, probably it doesn't have any of the uh, the risk is a lot lot reduced on getting your OG stolen. So yeah, so essentially robos are like the sheeps and mechas are like the um, the wolves. So uh, now what's happening now is they've started the minting process. So if you go into their website uh, and again, go to the Discord, go into official links and then click on the link to get the, the official website link. They're doing minting now and this minting is gonna go up to 55,000. So every certain amount, so like the next block would be 42,000, the price is going to go up for minting. So if you just mint and you want to sell it on the market, it costs you 11,000 OGs. And if you want to mint and stake, it's gonna cost eight to 50 
uh, OGs. So that's like it's going to go get staked and then you end up collecting OGs from them. Um, you could also do that with DMTs, which works out at 120 DMTs, which is about $240. Uh, but 8250 OGs is about $170. So it's, it's slightly cheaper to use OGs than DMTs for this. And DMT is what the other, uh, like these guys, earns. So the, the Ugas, they earn DMT, but the Mecha and the Robos earns OGs every day. So, yeah, you could mint up to four at a time. And, yeah, once you mint, you could, uh, you could have, there's, there's a few options, so let's explain here. So you could either, there's a chance that your uh, robot could be stolen, so you end up with nothing. It gets gifted to somebody else. Uh, you could also potentially get a mecha ape instead of a robo uga. So a mecha would get you, um, yeah, the ability to merge two mechas. So there's a five percent chance that, um, yeah. So you see, there's like these little chances you take when you're doing this. So with that said. Um, yeah, I went ahead and started minting, and I ended up with three mechas, and then I merged them, and then got a mecha M1. So you've got the tab up here, which which has the mecha merge, and you could come here and choose which one, which mecha you want to keep. So you, you've got it. Your mechas are going to show up here. So I only have one left, and you could choose which one you want to burn. So the one you keep will get upgraded, and the one you want to burn will get destroyed and the uh, upgrade. So keep in mind the upgrade costs two thousand OGs and uh, a bit of gas money, about $60 worth. So, and the robots can be upgraded as well, but yeah, I, I'm probably not going to do that immediately. I'm, I'm quite interested in getting mechas at the moment. So yeah, Evolve is also there. So this is like from before. So if you had the baby Ugas, you could have gotten a mecha ape using this tab here. And yeah, and the factory is where you go and and decide whether to stake them or unstake them. So I've got all of them staked at the moment and I can claim OGs. So this has been like only six hours and it's already collected about six thousand five and a half thousand OGs. So let's look at the maths on this. So if we go here, one robo would cost about two hundred and twenty dollars, including your gas and everything. Every day it produces uh so, so let's put daily OG. So it's going to produce 1,000. And currently, the price of OG is 1,000 OG. If you get 1,000, let's go here. So if I say 1,000 OGs, and we want it in USD, that's going to be $18. Okay, so it's gone down a little bit. Okay, so we could get $18 per day. So 18. So 18 means um, it, per week it's 126. Per month it's 547. In a year, six and a half thousand. So at the moment I have 23. Uh, so let's put another column. Duty. So one, and if I have 23. Okay, so. This is equals to this times this. There you go. So yeah, uh, potentially uh, you could spend five grand getting twenty three, but the daily OG would be equal to yes, and so that's twenty three thousand OG dollars. So format shouldn't show the dollars. So format number plain text oops format number uh, number there you go so equals thousand dollars so this is going to be one zero zero oh, this is not that this is going to be one zero 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 right so you get 23,000 OGs per day, and daily uh, we could be earning $234. Weekly that would be $1,600, and monthly it could be $7,000. So potentially you could recoup your money within a month uh, doing this. Now, 
obviously I've got a couple of Meccas as well. So I've got Mecca M1, which can start collecting uh, some some bribes. So and then I've got a Mecca Basic. So I've got one of those, one of those, and potentially um, this this Mecca M1 could pay a lot of dividends. I might end up increasing my collection of robos or get more Meccas even over time. Uh, so I've got this spare mecha in standby, so that can collect, uh, that can be upgraded if if I get another mecha. So uh, essentially, um, what we could be doing here is, uh, yeah, the, the the income it's really variable. So if we look at what the mecha's been doing so far, uh, you can go to your factory and you can check which ones earned how much. So like this mecha has already earned 106 UGs. Oh geez, and it's only been around for less than an hour. So I would reckon they should be able to make maybe 2,000 OGs quite comfortably per day. So let's say, let's put down 2,000. Uh, so purchase cost is still 220. Uh, actually, that one is 440 because there was two of them. And this is, let's put 440, 220. Okay, so let's put the format for this to be... Uh, US dollars. There you go. Right, so this is what we spend. The daily OGs on these ones, let's say 2000 and let's say 2000 So that's what we should be able to collect. So and let's extend these. So it could earn, uh, that's not right. E3, okay, so equals to this times not point one eight. Okay equals to this times 0.18. There you go. So we should be able to get $360 a day on this one. So format, uh, let's put it as a dollar. Right, so now we can extend this one, the weekly income. Nope, that's wrong. So equals to this times 7 equals to this times Seven. There you go. So these mechas would actually make more um, than these robos, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, I've got an extra zero here, I think. 18 cents per OG. Uh, it's not 18 cents, that's it. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be 0 0.018. That's it. That's more like it. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.018. Okay, there you go. That's more realistic. So, in a day, uh, potentially we can. Let's move this here because we don't really need this one. Delete row. Um, oops. Okay, let's let's do another thing. Let's do twenty three here. Equals to two two zero times this. Okay. Okay, so daily OG is a is thousand equals one zero 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 times quantity, and then the daily income should be equals to this times zero point zero one eight, which is the current price, and the weekly and the monthly. There you go. So now if we extend this one, that will get you the monthly income, and if we extend this one, that will get you uh, the yearly income. So essentially, uh, we are looking at having spent maybe about six thousand dollars, and per annum we could be making about one hundred and seventy thousand. So it's a pretty uh, good income, I think. Per month, it could be about fourteen thousand. Uh, so yeah, so I guess the game plan really should be to try to recoup some of the money early on, uh, and then uh, let let it roll and let it, let it build up. So this is almost like getting into wolf game, but much earlier, uh, because I reckon over time th these are going to go up in, in value because of the income that they're generating. Uh, the other thing is you could look at the uh, the chart and OG is actually uh, th this currency they have OG is actually at a very low rate at the moment. So essentially, you could be, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you could be getting more income when when the value of OG goes up. Because yeah, it's, it's only 0 0.018 at the moment. It's like less than two cents per OG. Um, 
so the other thing is they've started the uh, the process of getting the, the minting done currently so if we look at their website crafting when this number hits 55,000 uh, we should be uh, they should start the next phase so they're going to announce what the next phase is going to be but it should be quite interesting to see what the next phase is so that's the numbers for mecha apes uh, and they have this other website as well called mecha apes game which which is uh, which explains all the different elements of of the game there's a discord there's a medium place medium is pretty good as well it explains how the whole concept fits together and this has been around for a while it used to be called space apes at one point uh, and then it got migrated to be called Ugaverse. and yeah i mean I would say definitely look at it. There's some really good influencers who are involved in this quite heavily. So I do know uh, it has the blessing of a, of a lot of research uh, from other people. The other thing is their OpenSea. We've looked at the Twitter. Uh, in Twitter, they've got 38,000 followers. And if we look at the followed by people I know, there's, uh, yeah, there's a few people I know. Like Ryan D. Crypto is pretty well known. Uh, influencer in the nft space and i believe uh champ uh, is also in it there's a board ape yacht club member von doom in it as well there's kosher there's brett malinowski there's otto suen so there's some really uh influential people involved on this project so i think uh, otto suen i believe has has a ton of uh, uh, uh stake on this game so the other thing is the discord so let's have a quick look at the discord in fact i've got it open here let me just show it to you so this is their discord uh, so this explains the minting price so initially it was 0.055 ETH for getting the ugas back in january and yeah so this is this is the robos basically when it first came out uh, so you could either get a mecha or a robo so it was very good uh it's like less than a week ago or just over a week ago it was very cheap so now we are at the stage one where we can earn the uji and we can mint robo ujis and then we can level up and merge two of them to get a mecha shape and evolve the baby ugas into mecha apes so mecha apes are basically going to replace the baby ugas at some point and then stage two is coming, which is going to be PVP game on blockchain. Only the most worthy will survive. This is going to be interesting. And then there's going to be starting a sandbox PVP uh, in stage three. So it's going to be become quite interesting. So there's a demo of the game. Let's have a quick look. We're running it on Heroku. Okay. So Ugaverse collection, minting, enter the game. So if I say enter the game, let's connect the wallet and see what it looks like. Okay. Connect right enter the factory so yeah at the moment they're just preparing the game so nothing started yet um right check out the demo version of the upcoming game it's a non-playable version but you can click through the game to see how it will look when you launch it in january 22nd so that's what it actually looks like we, we yeah this has already been launched basically this is what what we use for minting and staking and the mint info is here the, yeah so you could mint up to four in one go uh, announcements if we look at the first kind of announcements that happened uh, there's yeah it's a while back so we're looking at October now and it's still going so this used to be called space apes I, I really always like to find out what how it started so back in September 10th it started uh, so and they started off with the space apes and then they kind of evolved as, as thing, things went on and yeah, so they had hundreds of thousands listed on the beginning, on the first four days, and yeah. And they started the Space Apes collection, and then they had to rebrand it. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a morphing game, and they've been able to reinvent themselves, so that's, that's what I really like about them. In terms of the community, let's have a look what the community looks like. Uh, if we go into general chat. I mean, the community is pretty good, actually. They were very supportive. When I went to Mint and stuff, they were they were very helpful and they were trying to help me out, figure things out. There's a strategy channel, which explains different gaming strategies. It's, it's, the good thing is it's a very simple game. It's not as complex as some of the games 
Uh, and you've got a stolen tab as well, which shows all the steals. And there's the voice channel where there's people hanging out. You can go and ask them anything anytime you need. And yeah, and that's basically it. And in terms of the team, let's have a quick look. Who do we have in this business? So if we look at the uh, team here, so Ubiverse, welcome. Okay, let's look at the white paper. Okay, so phase one, Genesis. Craft and collect Robo Ugas and Mega Apes, produce OGs, Ascension, uh, PvP game on blockchain, fight other players to receive in game assets like weapons and armors. That should be interesting. Uh, Mega Apes War, outstanding in game experience where you can use your weapons from stage two to fight your Mega Apes in sandbox. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to expand into a sandbox, a full fledged sandbox game. And they're talking about the Genesis here. Mint new robot Ugas, baby Ugas, and then there's the game launch, which has already happened. The factory, which is where we go and mint them. The crafting, uh, oh sorry, crafting is where we mint them. Uh, and robot Uga up upgrades, we'll just speak about. So eventually you could get an executive bot. And the OG token, uh, mecha merge. So OG token proportion, gifted mint proportion zero. Uh, so yeah, an M1, you get 2x the token proportion, and then gifted mint you get 1x. M2 you get 2.8, then 1.4 here, and then 3.6, 1.8 there. So this is pretty good. And uh, level of mecha is displayed as a background, and yeah, so you could keep or lose. Uh, so essentially, what what could be done is um, every day they're producing OGs, and those OGs could be used to mint new ones. So you could end up with a lot of different, uh, a lot of copies of, of these, uh, these robots uh, by going to going to minting them. So if you enter the game, you could start minting. So as an example, um, if I go into the factory, so it's collecting OGs. So it's got at one one six thousand. I can actually claim it. So if I claim the OGs, I can go back to the crafting, and purchase them so it's going to set me off about 8000 per OG so in probably 2 3 days time i could go and mint some uh, robos that that's one option uh, and that gives me a chance to get a mecha which is worth a lot more so if you look at the floor price of mechas uh, the mecha OGs at the moment are going for 0 0.09 eat uh, so it's about 0 0.1 with gas but the mecha apes they're going for, there you go, 0.44. So that's the basic Mecha going for 0.44. So the Mecha M1 is going for 0.8. M2 is going for 1.2. There's only three of them for sale. And the M3 is going for, it's not going, nobody's got an M3 they want to sell yet. There's only 16 of them around. Uh, but yeah, M1, M2s are, are worth the weight. So essentially, the stack I have now is worth M1, which is 0 0.8, versus a basic, which is 0.4. So 1.2 plus the 0 0.1 times 23. So to uh, 4.1 ETH worth of uh, assets here, producing about, uh, what did we work it out as? So in total, we've spent 6,000, which is about two ETH, well, two, two and a half ETH, and we've got 4.2 ETH worth of assets uh, with a monthly income of about 14,000, which is about um, how much? 14 is about divided by two and a half, four, five, about six ETH per month income, and we've spent two ETH. So it's a pretty good risk to reward on this. Uh, so I can cash out for 4 ETH anytime I want, which gives me a bit of profit. Uh, so keep in mind, uh, we had to go a little bit bigger because the because of that risk factor. And I wanted to make sure I get a mecha. So I had to keep minting until I got mechas. So that's how I ended up with so many. Uh, but yeah, you might get mechas really quickly. And, and I think mechas is what makes a massive difference on this because... 
they can start stealing and you end up with these little bonuses that that you didn't realize you had because you know once you're in the uh, in your factory so let's say you go to the factory once you're here your mechas will produce way more uh, OGs than these guys see this this guy is only done 31 and he's these are done already 129 82 so mechas are definitely doing much much better so it's always good to aim for some mechas in there in that list in the factory and yeah that's it really so uh yeah in terms of team sorry uh we've got a lot of different options here uh so let's look at the team boom 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 so go back okay so go well, uh, where is the team well it doesn't really have anything for the team I think I saw it somewhere. There's actually uh, three people um, involved on in the project. So, Mechaip Games. Okay, it's medium article. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think they have any teams page by the looks of it. Um, yeah, there's, there's basically three people I saw uh, on the project. All Kershaw Spaces, maybe it's this one. It has the medium article. Banana Collector is one of them. So this old collection is still worth three and a half. So. Um, yeah, sorry. I mean, there's there's three people, and I don't think they're doxed. So yeah, there is that. But yeah, essentially, it, it is it is a bit of a risk. But the key is there's a lot of people uh, involved on this who are uh, who has a pretty good reputation in analyzing projects and finding out about good projects and uh, I've looked at I've been observing this project myself for a while and it does look like something worth getting into for quite cheap uh, because usually these projects end up going uh, pretty pretty big uh, at some point later on and let's let's look at the IC tools settings on this so if we look at the mecha apes Mm, okay, there you go. So, what's the volume? Okay, so the 24 hour volume is 68, which is pretty good. And it's been dropping the Mac Apes, but now it's kind of gone flat last few days. I think it's on, it could actually start moving up soon. So, that's the seven days history. So, if you look at the 30 days, there you go. It's, it's quite wild. It looks like in January there was a lot going on, a lot of transactions, a lot of paper handers at the time. And now the volumes dropped quite a bit. But yeah, I think it's it is because of the minting. You know, once the minting's done, it's gonna start going up in value and people are gonna see the values. Uh, I mean the ROI we've worked it out, it's it's not bad, you know, it's it's a pretty good ROI. Uh in fact I'll show you the, the chart of the um, OG token so this has a chart so I would say when you buy OG oh yeah this is the other part uh, so if you want to mint you need to actually get some OG tokens so you'll probably need to come to a place like here or better off in pancake swap in sushi swap so you can go to sushi swap buy if you want to mint 33,000 you might end up getting some mechas so I would say buy 35,000 okay OGs uh, and that would get you seven. That would set you off seven hundred twenty-four USD. So transfer that money plus the gas fee. So I would say maybe transfer nine hundred dollars onto your MetaMask wallet, and then convert this much to OGs. So thirty-three thousand goes towards minting four, and then you've got two thousand OGs left, which you can use to upgrade your Mecca, and you still have gas left to cover all the costs, uh, because. Uh, and the other thing is probably pick a good time of the day. So usually um, after midnight uh, Eastern time is actually pretty good for gas fees. So I would say try and time your mint, you know, those times. And the other thing is the, yeah, so once you converted it, so you, you can come to Sushi Swap, convert it over, uh, and then instead of USDT, USDC, if you, if you bring in ETH to your wallet, you could use ETH to convert. Uh, and yeah, so once you kind of convert it, you could then go and uh, potentially uh, mint directly on the website. So remember, minting is finishing. So 
the thing about minting is the sooner you get in, the better the chances are that you could actually uh, get some gifted to you. Because while it's being minted, that's when you end up getting uh, getting the free airdrops if you have a mecha. So yeah, I would say let it uh, let it run and build up, and then you could get get your airdrops, and that could help out getting things uh, moving. Um, so yeah, that's basically the overview of the mecha apes i hope uh, yeah you like this overview and again this is not financial advice in any way shape or form this is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only uh, and yeah you need to make your own decisions on these things so yeah with that said have a great time and yeah i hope to see you on another episode thank you